Good morning. How you doing? <clears throat> hope you're having a wonderful November 1st, and I hope you have a, had a wonderful Halloween. Got a lot of candy. Hope your kids had a great time. Um, All Saints Day. Awesome. A um, couple things. First, I just wanted to mention something. Um, I don't know if you know, I got in a wreck a month ago. First time ever. I'm over 50. And Progressive dropped me like that. I paid over 100 bucks a month, and I'm homeless. And I was still able to come up with the money to pay for my car insurance every month. Yeah. So they finally just told me to go screw myself. Here's the fun part, right? They kept bugging me about stuff. And, you know, whatever. Kept saying, oh, you still want to be a part of our company? No, you know. Renew, blah, blah, blah. So yesterday I got a, an email from Progressive asking me in my opinion. They wanted me to do a survey. And I was more than happy to do the survey. I did the survey, told them they were horrible. Ned would never recommend Progressive. I think they were just the worst company ever. And they didn't give a shit about me. I Actually, in the comments, I actually put that. I said, look, I'm homeless and I was still able to pay you assholes over 100 bucks a month. And... And you dropped me at the drop of the hat, you know, first accident, a fender bender. And I said straight up, you don't give a shit about me. I want my money back. Today I got an email from Progressive. You owe $99 on your policy. So they still want money from me. I don't even have Progressive policy anymore. And yet they still want me to pay them. I owe them $99. I owe them. Or oh, they're going to take me to collections. Talk about scumbag company. I tell you what, don't progressive, you better pray I never get famous. Because my voice will have power. And I tell you what, your stock is going to drop like a fucking rock. Because I'm, I'm going to tell everybody I know Geico, State Farm. I don't give a shit. Anybody but progressive. <clears throat> anyway, that's my bitch for the day. That being said, what I really wanted to talk about was something very important, um, the high ground. In any battle, in any campaign, the person that has the high ground usually tends to win the battles, even if you're outnumbered. There's been historical fact on that one. And what I'm talking about, though, is the high ground of morality. Um, a great in, great example was Candace Owen. Yesterday she was commenting on a transgender young lady with a beard who was trying to explain to everybody the new pronouns, they, or whatever. You know, that poor thing is, you know, mentally disturbed, traumatized. You know, I can imagine what that young girl has gone, had to go through through her life. You know, regardless of if she's drank in the punch and she's a full-on liberal Marxist and hates people and wants to put people in concentration camps, there was a lot of sick kids in Cambodia that were doing horrible shit. They were on drugs. They were being told by the the you know these particular people to to kill the people in killing fields. Look it up. I don't want to get into that. But young people can be susceptible to mind games, to psychops, to where they literally think that you're evil and you're just a normal human being trying to live your life. But they would love to put you in a concentration camp, throw you in an oven. The only thing is, this poor little girl doesn't realize that once we're all thrown in the ovens, she's next. These people don't give a shit about her. Transgenders, they don't care about the LBG community. They're using the crap out of the LBG community. <sighs> gays and liberals, I'm t uh, gays and lesbians, I'm telling you. You've gone militant. You used to be the victims. In the 80s, I tell people, AIDS changed hearts. People saw the suffering of these homosexuals, and it was just horrible. And people said, fuck that. That's, you know, and it, it gave people empathy for the LBG community. And they had, they had, they had credit. They had universal karma credit. They were like, they could have done so much good. What do they do? They start having drag queens looking like demons reading to children. I mean, come on now. Now they're doing really weird shit. <clears throat> You've gone militant, man. And you're turning people off to your cause, and it's terrible. Anyways, Candace Owens was, making, was commenting about this young lady. And every and all, I was reading some of the comments, and they were pretty bad. I mean, they were just making fun of this poor girl, guy, whatever. And all I could think about was, you know, 
you know, what that person had gone through. They're mentally traumatized, post-traumatic stress disorder. So I, I made a comment about it. And I was trying to be as wonderful and sweet to that young lady as possible, letting Candace know, Owens and the rest of those people know that, you know, you have to be empathetic to these people. You can't just start making fun of them, start just making horrible comments. That's not the high ground. You want the high ground, you got to love everybody. You have to keep your moral center. What would Jesus do? Would Jesus make fun of that poor girl, guy? No. Jesus would embrace them. Period. We have to have the high ground. God wants you to have the high ground, which means you can't make fun of people. I know I can make fun of, I mean, there's, granted, these are private citizens, these are just civilians. Don't make fun of them. Joe Biden, laugh all day at that piece of shit. I mean, you know, Merkel, she looks like a fat, she looks like a fat Hitler. Put a little thing on her face, I swear to God, I, I wish I could just go up and just put a little like black mark right on her, under her nose. I guarantee you she looked just like Hitler. Because that's his daughter. Anywho. Make fun of the people that are ruining the world. Make fun of LeBron James for promoting China. A horrible country that tortures and murders people. And has concentration camps. That's who you make fun of. Not private citizens who are just speaking up. And that's her opinion that everything should be they. Fine. I don't believe in that. But, I, you know, you give people the right to speak. To say their minds. See, that's the problem. Another problem. We're being sent. I'm being censored like crazy. Everybody on the right is being censored like oh, conservatives. If you just don't believe in Biden, you don't drink the punch, you don't believe what CNN saying, good morning America, then you're the bad guy. And you have to have the high ground. Period. So you can't be making fun of people. You can't be you can't be mean. You got to be nice. You got to be kind. You got to be empathetic. You got to be loving. Kill them with kindness, not with hate. That's what they're running on hate. If you give them hate, they're just gonna, it's going to feed them. You give them love. You change their hearts. Their heart is becoming dark. You change it to light. That's what you do. I know you can do it. I, I mean, we're all susceptible. You know, I could have made a snarky comment about it. Telling her to shave or whatever. Because she was a beautiful young person. Just, it was kind of weird with the beard. But, you know... I didn't want to be that kind of person. I want to, I want comments to be kind. I want people to care. I want people to be able to say what they want without being ridiculed to the point where they like jump off a roof. Like that 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 transgender comedian that was helping was basically backing Dave Chappelle and she was so she got tortured online. I'm sure there were death threats or whatever. She was so tortured after 5 days of this crap that she jumped off a building and killed herself. He whatever horrible you need to be kind that's how we win we don't win with hate we win with kindness and love and empathy rise above take the high ground and keep it that being said i love you god loves you and the universe loves you and we believe in you so believe in yourself and do good